Hey learners, welcome back. It's CS3244 Machine Learning, and now we're in week eight, which is the second half of the semester. So now that we've covered some of the basics, it's time to get uh, to the deep part of our course, deep learning. And uh, this is important for a lot of you considering deep learning projects for the course. Um, so we'll be uh, talking to Professor Wang Wei uh, for today's notes on neural networks. So hi, Wei. Uh, could you introduce yourself and tell us about uh, your work? Hi, everyone. Uh, my name is Wang Wei. I'm from the Department of Computer Science. I'm an assistant professor in the department. I have taught two modules. Uh, one is neural networks and deep learning. And the other one is uh, knowledge discovery and data mining. Actually, uh, both modules are closely related to machine learning, and machine learning is one of the prerequisites of my modules. Uh, I also do some research on, on neural networks. So many of you might recall that neural networks have been long for a long time, right? Uh, in, we've, we've studied the basics of, of linear units, um, but that also they are a very key component of the current revolution in deep learning. This means that neural networks is somehow serving as a bridge between uh, what we've learned in traditional uh, machine learning as well as deep learning on the other side. So Wei, could you give us a short introduction about how you know, neural networks feature in your own research? Uh, sure. Uh, first, I'm interested in applying neural networks for some specific applications. Uh, traditional machine learning models depend heavily on handcrafted features by the domain experts. It is a tedious process to craft the features. Uh, in contrast, neural networks are good at feature learning. In other words, we can feed the raw signals to the model. Then the neural networks, uh, because they have so many parameters that can be tuned to learn features with rich semantics, then we will get good performance for the applications of interest. And second, I am interested in optimizing the training and inference of existing neural networks in terms of the speed and the memory cost. Modern neural networks are very big and computational intensive. It is common to train some models for two to three days, and it is also almost impossible to play with modern neural networks without GPUs. As I told my students, so mm -hmm. if you don't have GPUs, and if your thesis is about, I mean, master students, if your thesis is about uh, neural networks, then it may take maybe one year or two to finish your thesis. <laughs> it's too long. Yeah, it is uh, a very long time. So uh, I think for our learners, we, you've hopefully connecting some of what uh, Wei mentioned about uh, the large size, you know, in terms of the number of parameters. And that, of course, leads to the problem of over and underfitting, as we saw with our lectures earlier. So we'll be back with Wei in the second half uh, at the end of our neural network lecture. For now, let's get started. 